Yo, it's your girl Goody Does YouTube. Today we're gonna be talking about shit you need to know for the NBA season starts. Translation, I'm just gonna be talking about shit you should probably know coming into the new season. Only the main, you know, huge shit. I'm not gonna be going into detail over the little small trades and add-ons. Bro, who pay, you will fucking do it. I'm not doing it right now. And with the first trade, the one trade that shocked everybody that was not needed. The trade with the New York Knicks and the Minnesota Timberwolves. The Timberwolves ended up trading cat for Julius Randle and Dante DiVenzo. I'm so sorry. I just butchered your fucking name. Damn, they didn't even have that little callback moment. Damn, they straight traded his ass. This trade was mainly unnecessary. If I could give like a, a teammate grade like how 2K be doing, the Knicks might get a B plus. The Timberwolves, you got Julius Randle. Like, he be fake acting like he a good player. So I'm gonna have to give you a C minus, bro. That's a weird, you know, dilemma. At least you got a three-point shooter now, though. Damn, that might be an issue, though. You have Goldberg Anthony Edwards and you gonna have random X for the ball. Yeah, that's nah. I don't know if that's it, yo. Honestly, Cat, I can't believe they actually traded Cat. I would expect them to trade like anybody else but Cat, but I guess they felt like they needed to move on from him. This nigga was in the fucking gym with his dad as he got traded to the Knicks. That's cold fucking blood. All right, the next obvious shit that you need to know is LeBron ugly ass. He signed a three-year contract with the Lakers. Chris ended up getting JJ Redick and drafting Bronny James at the 55th pick. You're a Lakers fan right now? Just This is just your moment. It's three years is just a whole reality show of LeBron playing with his son. I don't know if he's going to go to the playoffs. It did just get a rookie play with Bronny in the G League. So that might be something. I don't know. The Lakers haven't really been doing much. It's really just been the LeBron show until he retires. Probably not going to trade for anybody significant. They waived Gabe Vincent, a player that was with the Heat, went to the Lakers for a year, played good, good three-point shooter. He's not there anymore. <laughs> it did make a solid move with getting the new coach because the coach last year, bro, I'm, bro, he was just lost. Before off season you know great i'm gonna give them a cool c plus they didn't really do nothing major they just solidified a few things maybe he has to start something new hopefully they get a ring probably not let's talk about the next thing next we're going to talk about the golden state warrior and the mavs too don't worry the golden state fucking fumbled they trusted too much that their star player clay thompson wasn't you know going to stay with the bullshit y'all should have paid him first before y'all paid draymond y'all fucking insane Golden State ended up losing clay to the goddamn mavs and they paid him like 50 or 60 million i'm assuming that clay wasn't getting that right amount of number when he was with golden state and he kept switching things you know low ball him so he went to the Mavs. y'all stupid as hell and he said that he wasn't really looking for money he was honestly just wanted another ring y'all giving draymond too much money just for him to sit out for game give money to the nba for all his fucking fines beat up your favorite talent and your star i'm not gonna get in this shit with jordan Poole. he should never have got traded for that shit don't get me started on the coach bro y'all need to get rid of that coach push Kerr, bro he is past his prime that nigga's old this nigga run 2013 please bro he, he gotta go also they lost cp3 as well honestly it's not that much of a loss he wasn't playing and he wasn't healthy but at the same time that's still bad cp3 ended up going to the fucking spurs with victor wimba mama all in all bro i, I didn't even see what they gained mainly the golden state just got a fucking d plus a d plus i gave it too much money to niggas that don't need it. The only nigga that deserves their money is Steph Curry over there. But as far as the Mavs, the Mavs did a wonderful fucking job. Don't get me wrong, they lost a few players, but getting Clay after, you know, going old for fucking a million in the finals against the Celtics, they should have won that game. No reason why Lucas should be cooking and Kyrie's sole purpose is the motherfucking shoot misses all his shots. I don't know what happened. Everybody besides Lucas didn't know how to play basketball again. Hopefully they run it back, get back to the exact same position they was last year. This this time with a nigga that know how to sit in a corner and wait for the fucking ball since the Mavs lost a few players i'm gonna give them a cool little b plus good fucking steal getting clay thompson last but not least bro grizzlies they didn't really do anything because they just need a healthy job to get to the playoffs they did do one thing ended up waving derrick rose and shortly after he got waved he posted to his instagram a cryptic message and then a few hours later he did announce that he is retiring <laughs> As you, as you can uh, hear me, uh, I'm, I'm still in the now.
Like, ha, huh, bro. Everybody know, bro, this is your first heartbreak. Seeing him get injured and him trying to prove that he still got it. Bro, this is an L on the fuck. I said L. Next is an F for the Grizzlies. Bull should have picked him up so he could retire properly, bro. Holy shit, I'm pissed. Because what if Story, bro, finally retires the 16 seasons of showing y'all that he still got it, bro. Damn, I wish he would have got a ring, bro. Shit. Anyway, y'all, that's all I got for y'all. Let me know in the comments below if you like this fucking video make sure you like comment subscribe share with your friends let me know if y'all want more of these tell me what trades i forgot to mention or i should have mentioned and yeah i'm gonna start doing more of these you know type of videos so stay tuned